And then I said to him, tell me, how can you actually know that? He said, there are things in the world that cannot be explained. Bruno Gröning is also said to have clairvoyant abilities. He himself often hints that he sees more than most people. Once he drove me to the railway station, and I sat tensely next to him holding my hands together tightly. And suddenly he started to grin and says, Why do you keep thinking, I mustn't think anything, I mustn't think anything? And it was just that. Okay, just don't think anything, don't think anything. Otherwise he'll somehow know it. I mean, I was completely harmless. But that someone could read my thoughts, that was uncanny. And then I also had an unusual experience with an acquaintance. He said, yes, it's probably charlatanism. I would like to go along, but I'm going to hide so I can't be seen in a back corner above all, behind the person sitting in front of me. So he did that, and when Gröning came, his first words were, someone is sitting in a corner in the last row who has only come out of curiosity and wants to criticize. I'm not going to begin until he leaves the room. Well, it was all over for him, and he was convinced that he really did see more than the normal average person could see. He certainly had a gift. And then he said to my husband, whom he had never seen before, and we also didn't know him yet, your name is Gerhard Seitenberg. You were born in Lützen and are so and so many years old. And your occupation is such and such. So naturally we were speechless. How could he have known that, you know? And while we were conversing, some passers-by came up. And finally, there were around 10 or 20 people. They made a big semicircle around him, and he stood in the middle, but kept talking with us, with my husband and me. And then he said to me, you have a letter in your pocketbook. Take it out and hold it. And then I took the letter which was sealed into my hand, the closed hand. And he said, the letter says, and then he said the first sentences. So, if Bodo, I still remember it today. If you are waiting for Bodo to write to you, you can wait a long time. So he read two sentences that literally were in the sealed letter in my closed hand. And then he said, it is too personal. I would prefer to stop. How can you read a sealed letter in a closed hand? Therefore, what he said was extraordinarily startling. During a holiday in Germany, Mr. and Mrs. Finger also experienced something unusual with Gröning. We were sitting there, and he suddenly said, Shall we take a look and see what Gerd is doing today? That was our daughter, who was 6,000 miles away from us. All right, Gerti is not at home at all. She's somewhere else, at a friend's. But she doesn't feel well at all. She was pregnant at the time. Now she is standing up, going into the kitchen, and going to the ice box. And he said it all in stages, just as she did it. She's opening the ice box and drinking something. But I can't say what it is. After a while, there was another pause. Then he said, now she's feeling better. Now she's going to bed. She was pregnant at the time. And now she has fallen asleep. My wife, my darling wife, recorded that and wrote to our daughter about what had happened. And she asked, what really happened on that day? Then she said, we weren't at home. We moved, you see. 
I was at Maria's with Siegfried. Well, what did I do? I wasn't well at all. Oh, this pregnancy. I'll be glad when it's over with. I really felt bad. Ich wäre froh sein, wenn das vorbei ist. Mir geht es wirklich schlecht. Und was habe ich getrunken? And what did I drink? I didn't drink anything. Ah, mate tea. And he didn't recognize it. If it were beer or wine or something else, then he would have known. Or some other kind of tea, then he would have told me. But he said right away, I'm not familiar with that beverage. Dieses Getränk kenne ich so, ist die Geschichte gewesen. so that was the story. He was able to establish a relationship that was unbelievable, and it was really true. Das hat tatsächlich gestimmt. Und für uns war also diese wahnsinnige Entfernung eine ganz große Sache, dass And for us, the great distance was very significant, that he could see all that in such a way and could determine anything at all. And then I said to him, tell me, how can you actually know that? Wie können Sie das eigentlich machen und sagen? He said, there are things in the world that cannot be explained.